People, it's been a while and I'm telling you now, I wasn't really getting a lot of views on my FM videos, which I still am not, but my most popular video today, to date, for whatever reason, is like one about Carl Robinson, but I'm telling you now, um, I do live in Essex, so I went ahead and watched the almighty MK Dons versus Southend, and I'm telling you now, what a fucking game that was, that was a game, that was a proper game, um, just down to the atmosphere, you know, everything. If you heard a ding, that's Facebook Messenger. Don't worry about it. Um, but oh, it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Southend completely battered Milton Keynes in the first half. I'm pretty sure it's McLaughlin, um, the left winger at Southend United. Brilliant. Um, playing, who was it? Uh, was it? It was Britain at right back. He was in no man's land, constantly leaving spaces. And I was surprised to see him in that position, if I'm honest. But, you know, uh, Southend were just battering him. Last couple of minutes of the first half, MK Dons were, you know, they did start to, to pick up a little bit. But the first 20 minutes or something, I was looking at it and I was thinking, Niall Ranger is a handful. He was a handful, proper target man, back to goal, you know, laying the balls off. And Southend, you know, I, I said to you know, the person who I attended with, I said, listen, Southend have missed so many chances, MK are going to score. Because MK didn't get, they had about one chance until like the 40th minute. And I said, because of this, MK are going to score. And then after that, it's going to be game over. And that's completely what it was. It was, com it was game over. And I, to be honest, I used to watch Southend regularly and I stopped because they were sort of the opposite to Arsenal. Instead of having like the last two months or so, you know, just winning games and winning games, they just lose games and lose, lose games. They're the ultimate bottle job, Southend United, to be honest. And in a game that Millwall lost, it, it, you know, to Fleetwood Town, it was imperative that they won. And then they've only got two games left to try and get to that playoff spot and then one point behind um, Millwall. But just the atmosphere, everything. Referee was kind of shocking. Uh, wasn't very consistent in terms of his decisions. Uh, ben Reeves did get pushed in the face by a player. And the ref saw it. And he more or less told Ben Reeves to stop bitching about it. But Joe Walsh opened the scoring in the second half. And the South End were a bit deflated. And then there was another attack. Another attack. And Reeves got himself on the score sheet. After a, I think it was a parried ball by the goalkeeper. Um, but just the, the tempers were flaring. The crowd at South End were just so into the game. They were just so on the backs of the players. The abuse that the players got was ridiculous, to be honest. Um, the abuse that the ref got was ridiculous. Um, over 9,000 people, uh, you know, there at the time. It was... Uh, <laughs> I just enjoyed it. Now, unfortunately, I got a ticket and I had to sit in the South End end. So I couldn't really be as open and as loud as I wanted to be which was the most frustrating part but I do feel sorry for Southend they should have put that game away um, and they did hit the post um, I think they hit the post twice and in the last last minute in added time there was a penalty we decided to make a substitution and the player was walking off a Southend player you know jogs over pushes him and he gets booked for that and the tempers just flared you know and this is the greatest thing. When the penalty, when Southend got themselves a penalty, they scored a penalty. But when the penalty was given, the players were there getting ready to take it. And uh, uh, I can't remember, I'm sure it's Ed Upson. He just decided to just go down. Tiniest bit of contact, contact. he decided to go down and hold his ankle. And the, the fans were just getting on a case. Even Kieran Agard, every time the Don scored, he was the last player back into his own half so the game could restart to just the absolute uh, wrath of the South End fans, you know. They hated it, hated it. And the time wasting was getting worse and worse. Uh, McLaughlin handing in the ball for at least well over 10 seconds, you know, every time he picked it up. And South End, they threw everything at them. They threw Theo Robinson, Mark Antoine Fortune. They had about six people up front at one point, but it was a brilliant game. The Dons really should have got their asses handed to them. They were terrible. Um, in the second half, they picked up a little bit, but never really controlled the game like they should have. Um, it wasn't the best performance. But with that being said, we got the win, 2-1. Robbie Nielsen, so excited for, for next season. And um, yeah, and if you can, do watch, do watch my bloody videos. Like, come on, if you don't want to, then just don't. And then just fuck you and just, just piss off, you know. But this is the FM Republic and... Bye.